Hey guys, it's Austin down at Snake or Fly. We are going to be tying up a new jig streamer variation that we've been fishing. Um, it, we call it the Prince Albert. We're gonna be tying it on a size eight jig hook with a 4.8 mil tungsten slotted bead. So the materials we're gonna use for this fly consist of some new products that we've been using. Leechaboo, uh, we're gonna be doing this one in cream. Some barbed elasticore in tan. We're gonna be using some UV ice stub in tan, and then some laser legs in the gold flake. So to start this fly out, I'll usually put some lead behind the bead. Where did I just put that? There it is. It doesn't need to be a ton just to keep the bead locked up behind the hook eye. And then just use your thread of choice and secure your lead. Handedly. What thread are you using? Um, we today this is nano silk in 12 op, a little small, but it's pretty strong. So, and it makes a nice, neat looking fly when you tie stuff in, because it's not bulky. But you can choose whatever you'd like. Eight dot works pretty well. Six dot, just normal thread works well as well. So to start it out, we're gonna tie in a little tail. Usually I go about a hook shank in length. Let's go ahead and cast that in. Tie it up. And go ahead and trim that off. I like a little, I like a pretty bulky. Here's another example of one. I like a big tail on it. So we'll go ahead and grab one more of the feathers, measure it up just even with the other one. Go ahead and secure that in. And then just tie that up. Trim that off. And just kind of cover all that marabou with your thread. And once you get all covered up, you can just kind of go back to right about there on the hook. And then we will tie in our barbed elastic core. Just tie that in at the front. And run it back. And then advance your thread to the front. Uh, if you have a rotary vise, you can go ahead and use that feature here. If not, you're going to have to do it the cooler way. Go ahead and tie that off and trim it out. Um, next, you can go ahead and add legs if you'd like. If you don't like legs on your fly, then you can just leave them out. Just pinch them on the one side. You see that? Just one wrap, tighten it down. And then usually I will add one more wrap to hold that in and then flip it and attach the other side. And then last, all we're gonna do is add some of the UV ice stub and tan. So it's kind of long when you pull it out of the package, so I will break it into a little bit smaller pieces. Are you able to see that? And so once you kind of break it up, Kind of fan it out and have a little bit smaller package and then that will just lay over the fly and you can envelope it kind of and take a very loose wrap over top of it all and go ahead and tighten that down and just pull all that back
So at this point, you can just finish the fly with the whip finish. So what shape can you guys like? Turn the legs to the desired length. They usually go right behind the marabou. And then you can brush out the eye stub. And there is the Prince Albert. Fish on lakes, 100 indicator below. Um, you can strip it if you'd like. Kind of change the weight. Works really good on a Euro rod as well. So. Go ahead and give that one a try. Thanks guys.